The end of that good cannot be good in this country. Hmm. Yes, he has mother sleep. I will not be able to sleep. But that good tell, we are know. going to pay with our with our with our life. He's a very trickish person. Hmm. He should go and pay his debt. If you know he cannot run it, he should sell it to Nigeria. He should look for anybody in the world to sell it to. I thought building a refinery like this is, I mean, supposed to be a pride for everybody. Because we are not the only country. Angola, they've been trying for 20 years. They are still trying. Uganda, they've been trying for the last 15 years. None of them. There is no production capacity in Africa. Only two countries are not important. But you can see a regulator is giving an excuse to continue to issue license for bad products just because he said that no, they don't want to create a monopoly. So how can we create a monopoly? You did that in sugar. You remember what Atsanagote said? I could remember maybe four years ago, three years ago, towards the, the, the Muslim festival, it was telling Rabiu that it should increase the price of sugar. And this is what the, the people normally use to take their kulu and ogi or anything. Sugar sell more during the time of uh, fasting of the Muslim. So the Rabiu said, no, we believe in God. Let us give this time to them. There was a row between Rabiu and uh, Dangote. Then when you look at the Indian people that, that is doing the Indomie today, Dangote has poisoned the, the, the Indomie before and killed some people. When he wanted to send, give these people bad names and send them out of the country. We can't wait for Dangote. They cannot kill an NPC. He's the one that have the, the MD of an NPC. He's the one that sponsored him. Mm. He has some, amongst the ministers, and Dangote sponsored some people there. Who leak information to him? So and think? all the even all these uh, diabolical seeds that they wanted to give SMO seeds that can kill people. Some bad rice are in this country through them. That would take usually for only four years to be bringing trailer, truck people, putting them in Nigeria for in the forest. Even Tinubu said in those days, when he's suffering, a bag of rice is two thousand, three thousand. He asked us to come out and protest. Tinubu said so too. But why, why is he doing this to us now? We don't know. We don't know. He said an outsider, an outsider crying more than what? The berries. Then why he was there, he said, I could be well moved as usual. I could pray. But prayer will move me. What is there? Now prayer is not moving him. Oh, it's subsidy. He's still there. Subsidy. He's still there. God is the mediator. God is the father of Nigeria. God is the one operating in this country. Because if other country, all the money they stole in Nigeria, <laughs> if they stole this type of money in America, America will be grinded. Hmm. If the money they stole in Nigeria, if they stole that type of money in Britain, there will be nothing like Britain again. Anywhere you get to, in this world, if you didn't meet Yoruba, you meet Igbo. Hmm. You didn't meet Yoruba, you don't meet, you meet Igbo. These people have tried a lot. Hmm. It's not a mad joke. They have tried. But for somebody to be having a, 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 a good brain, to be pro producing something some standard, fake, if you give him good money, he will produce original. That's for the evil people. They are so industrious. They are so good people. They want to work. Look at Igbo. Up to 1981, 82, 82, 81, 89. They are, they are still doing their own bioma. They, they have to work in a day. They have to bring money home. It's something like the Yoruba. But if the house I want to walk that time, you see there are two gallon, galawa on their shoulder. What are they doing? They were Merua. You see the home part? Merua. What are they doing? Fresh water for people. <laughs> you get the point. So you see the difference between these three tribes. Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo. We don't know where the other one came. Because it's only three lady, uh, three babies. We took away from the hospital. Now when we go to him, they say it's four. Hmm. That's Fulani. So what the Fulani want to do to us, we don't know. Now they are now hibernating in all our food, in our, all our forest. We take it for the seven. Is it by force they want to be our member? You know what I was telling them the other day that, hey, wash out Kano. Kwakwaso, wash out. Because Sanusi so will buy Kwakwaso. Hmm. All the money they sold for CBN and everything, he will manipulate it. I come back to I come back to power. Listen now.
For more prophecies and gospel news around the world, subscribe to 12 Star TV and turn on notifications. We know the end of that good cannot be good in this country. Hmm. Yes, he has a mother's sleep. I will not be able to sleep. Hmm. When the Indomie people came, the Indian people, you know, India has took over the whole Nigeria, yes. the whole Africa, and Britain. India knows how to do business. And when you look at our fuel today, mm -hmm. the highest theft around the oil area, after Ghana, after Ghana, after the, the, the worst theft is uh, comes from Indian. They are the Indian people. Mm -hmm. The Indian people and the British people. Do you remember we have fooled before? How can we take our fuel, our uh, fuel to Germany? To refine, we come with the petrol and the rest we left the all the whole thing there. And then when they refine for when they are doing road for us, they are taking the crude oil. Is there any sense in that? Yeah. That means there's no university in Nigeria, and this is what led us to where we are today. But when you see any lawyers now, can um, um, Femi Fala now, another oh, they stole our money. Where are you when they were stealing our money? Then okay. You came out to match against Villa Jonathan. You people came out to match against the Adua. You people came out to match against Obasanjo. You people came out. The match you made uh, uh, against Obasanjo led us to have a, a consular conference. And all the billions we spent on the consular conference was circled on the carpet. Hmm. Then all the national conference we have again. Oh, um, I am Villa Jonathan that we that we thought that this is zoologist is a fool. Not knowing that he's smart. He made another consular conference. Then at the end of the day, he was swept under the carpet. Yeah. Then this is money, money, money. Why don't we put some money out for census? So that we can count, we know the number of people living in Kano. We know the number of people living live in Ore. We know the number of people living in Abokuta. We know the number of people living in Yabodi. But nobody thought about that. And all the whole governor, the president, nobody want to invest in a long term business. Even farming, they don't want to do. We could remember Amosu when he loaded sawdust in a bag. Hmm. He said he had a pyramid of rice. He sawdust. He sawdust. If you ask the state government, they don't want to say the truth. The first batch of money at uh, Amosu used on agriculture was waste. Billions. Billions. Then later, when he wanted to go, he brought in ammunition into the states. What do you want to kill is it your children or your son or your daughter? We have been having knucklehead leaders, knucklehead bad people, people who did not know their left from their right, people who did not have peace within themselves. How, they can, how can they give people peace? Nigeria is a very good place to live for anybody who wanted to walk. Anybody who wants to walk. See all Nigerians abroad. You know now they use their money to go back to slavery. You look for visa, then pay the ticket, then go. Then when you go once, to, to come back again another 10 years, someone will travel at the age of 30 and come back after 20 years again to come and see his children, his family. That's 20 years before you get the paper there. It's still slavery. Yeah. It's still what? It's still slavery. And why are the people just better than you people? Because they will work. They will get where to work and they pay them. But half of the money is back to the government. Go to London. During the time of uh, uh, Buhari, a lot of people left Nigeria. Ungigi was telling Nigerians, anybody who wanted to go as a doctor, they should go. Anybody who wanted to go, should what? Should just go. Is that a, a good father? And when you look at all the whole secondary to the government, this and that, like um, uh, yeah, um, this um, liar, um, Lai, Mohammed. Lai Mohammed, and when you look at Suku Mereji, when you look at all of these people, and when you look at the tailor, uh, uh, um, Oshio Moli, all of them, I'll see where we are today. These are the people still in the and are the government for 40 years, 30 years, 20 years, 80 years. And you said the young shall grow. When you look at the boss of Umayya in those days, you wrote it on the boss. The, the young shall grow. Those bosses will live at Jibu, live at uh, a, a Papa, they will live at um, Orile. But uh, today, where are those young boys? They are now slaves in India slave in bangkok they are not doing slavery work in, in brazil anywhere you get to in the whole world you meet nigeria if you don't see that if you don't see yoruba you see Igbo. that's the two people mm. that is the two people 
who has come to this world to be what to be person. But the people who gave back to them never wanted to know their value. Anywhere you get to in this world, if you didn't meet Yoruba, you meet Ibo. You didn't meet Yoruba, you don't meet you meet Ibo. These people have tried a lot. It's not my joke. They have tried. But for somebody to be having a, 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 a good brain, to be producing something substandard, fake, if you give him good money, he will produce original. That's for the evil people. They are so industrious. They are so good people. They want to work. Look at Ibo. Up to 1981, 89. Yeah, they are still doing their obi -Oma. They They have to work in a day. They have to bring money home. It's something like the Yoruba. But if the Asa want to work that time, you see there are two gallon, garawa on their shoulder. What are they doing? They were Merua. You see the home part? Merua. What are they doing? Fresh water for people. <laughs> You get the point. So you see the difference between these three tribes, Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo. Mm -hmm. We don't know where the other one came because it's only three lady, uh, three babies we took away from the hospital. Now when we go to them, they say it's four. Mm -hmm. That's Fulani. So what the Fulani want to do to us, we don't know. Now they are now hibernating in all our food, in our, all our forest. We take it for the seven. Is it by force they want to be our member? Is it by force they want to be part of Nigeria? And everybody on the history will prove it. I study history. They don't have a place in Nigeria. And Fulani has never had a place to live since they are nomadic people. But now they want to have a place in Ore. They want to have a place in Oyo. They want to have a place in Ijoga, really. So it's not normal. It will be difficult. It will be war. But God is so merciful to Nigeria. Everything that's supposed to make Nigeria blue, just like an egg or or uh, he bought to sell from the from the from the decking or the story building but god is still bringing us together god loves this country god loves this country some people will go and bring look at uburu look at um, uh, the okaku everything what Oka said the other day what he said the other day is still what we are still going to do he said the northern to not should come back the Israelites should go the Yoruba should go. We should sit down on the round table. If you, employ, if you now employ a soldier in Lagos, a soldier in Akure, a soldier in, Ab Ab in Abia, then you take them to Kaduna for training. Where they are, they can't speak, uh, they can't speak Hausa. They cannot speak Fulani. Like you said, they should come on that instructor of a Yoruba man who will train them and do everything. Look at Atilade. That young, vibrant pilot was killed. She was killed. Nothing happened. Because it's a Fulani and the Fulani regime. He said they, they said it's a sharpshooter. He killed the Fulani too much. It was this and that and that. That lady was killed. That lady was killed. So when you look at it, the situation, the terrain we are, is not riot. It's to take a list and go to Hasselrod. Let's cancel House of Assembly. One. So all the money we made through that, that we are wasting through that, is a waste pipe. Then the, the House of Assembly, the Senate too. We should gather them when we need them. We don't want to do those things those days. Some people are teachers. But they still go to the, sit down in a parliament with our law. And discuss how we are going to get granola, get everything, get uh, bringing cows or cow the cattle cows that we have that time. Not all these cows that the full and brought now. You you get the point. The oceanography, the other thing, other, we have it in Yoruba area. We go where you learn about fishing, where you do fishing, and bring the fishing trailers and do everything. And even to the extent. We have the first uh, television station, radio station, ahead of France. When the articulate people are in, in articulate position. So that's the problem. I'm going. So I beg the youth. How many Meloni Bobo Yoruba? Meloni Bobo Ibo Tokus in Nigeria? Meloni Bobo Abamegeji? Karo Rio. And because the pressure cannot remove the money on the seat. 
There is only Kaba that brought up us on your Tinubu there. No Kaba. He's only, he, he's only God who said, what you give this man who did not know his left from right? That's prediction 2015. If you made this man to rule us, it's you that is coming to face the mess. I would that's what happened to Tinubu tomorrow. Even Tinubu said in those days, when he's suffering, a bag of rice is 2,000, 3,000. He asked us to come out and protest. Tinubu said so too. But why, why is he doing this to us now? We don't know. We don't know. He said an, an outsider crying more than what? The berries. Then when he was there, he said, I could be well moved as usual. I could pray. But prayer will move me. What is there? Now prayer is not moving him. It's what you call the sledgehammer. And even when they said the oil subsidy, he's still there. Subsidy. He's still there. Mm. He's still there. But if we thank God that Tunubu don't allow us to play into the gallop, which Dangote has played, made for us. Because when you look at the book of Esther 6 and 7, and when you look at what happened in the book of uh, Daniel 1 verse 6, and when you look at what happened in Daniel 2, from verse uh, 12 to the end, then Daniel 3, from verse uh, 14 to the end, then Daniel 5, Daniel 5 from verse 21, then Daniel 6, 1 to 10, Daniel 6, then from 20 to the end. Then when you look at what thrilled Daniel the more, was Daniel 9, where they now said, this is the day you are living. So they started fasting and prayer till, so that that day will not fail. So that they will not miss that day. Then when it was Daniel 10, he now put the pressure. Then sir, the day you have said, the day you, um, the day you promised us has come to pass. He said, no, it was the devil, the angels that stopped the request. But your prayer as what well has been answered. Then when you look at the book of Judges 1, see 7, 8. Then when you look at what the man said in the book of uh, 1 Samuel 20, 1 Samuel 24, 1 Samuel 24 from verse 10. Then, from, then he said that we are in the same cave and you saw me, you didn't kill me. He said, this is your cup and this is the edge of your clothes. He said, I can't kill you. So automatically, Saul prayed for David. He was hunting David to kill. But look at what the boy said in 2317. He said, I know a time is coming when David will be king. Then I, Jonathan, will be what? Will be deputy. But the sin of his father has destroyed him. I didn't mean we allowed Dangote to take charge of the refinery. You know something happened in NMPC? Yes. The very person that's supposed to be the chairperson of NMPC, the three of them that are Yoruba from Abakuta, the very, uh, the, the very uh, um, um, NMPC chief now, just track them out and then retire them. He <laughs> just retire them because Dangote has bought the place. Thinking that we refine, do everything, then no NNPC again. We only know about Dangote Refinery. How could you do that? You did that to us in sugar with Rabiu. Rabiu, Rabiu is a good man. Rabiu is doing it, producing sugar too. You did that in sugar. You remember what Dr. Dangote said? I could remember maybe four years ago, three years ago. Towards the, the, the Muslim festival. It was telling Rabiu that it should increase the price of sugar. And this is what the, the people normally use to take their kulu and ogi or anything. Sugar sell more during the time of uh, fasting of the Muslim. So the Rabiu said no. We believe in God. Let us give this time to them. There was a row between Rabiu and uh, Dangote. Then when you look at the Indian people that, that is doing the Idomi today, Dangote has poisoned the, the, the Indomie before and killed some people when he wanted to send, give these people bad names and send them out of the country. But God still made them to stay here today. He can't take the monopoly of the, uh, the, Dang, uh, the that product, Indomie today. Then again, in sugar. That's, then when you look at what happened to the, the cement factory, um, the, this man doing uh, in, uh, um, cement, in Delta, in the Benin area, he was the very one that put them into trouble in the front of Obasanjo. Look at what, the, look at the cement in his hand today. Look at the amount he's selling to cement in Kutono. Look at the amount he's selling to cement outside Nigeria. Do we offend Dangote? Where have we offended Dangote for one day? Where? 
even half of my feelings. It's too, the end of Dangote will be worse in this country. His, his hand is in a lot of diabolical things. He never want Nigeria to know peace for one day. It's worse than all the president we have ever had. I don't know how it come. Maybe I don't know how it come about the richest man in Africa. How do you know the richest man in Africa? He what does he where, where does he work before? So these are the thing. These are the thing. Is it too bad for the son of a poor person to get to the top? And now they will go to the Ayash under the on the IC doing all sort of rubbish thing. And we are not making peace. Hmm. Do you remember this Dangote in those days? When they are bringing sheep uh, of rice to Nigeria. And they, they will sing, they will use the Somalia hijacker. They will give them trouble. People run away and leave the rice for him. Hmm. I can remember a man, he's already he's dead now. He collected money alone to bring rice. He will bring rice to the country. During the Abbas Major regime, they, was, they sing the boat. He never get out of the crisis before he died. We could remember when uh, to, to, um, Babangida wanted to collect flour and meal from the foreigner. How God, how God helped that man out of the trouble. We'll be facing that trouble for long. He said they should go and look for a viable country, company. That when he's retired, that he wanted to be a, an industrialist. But why don't you wait? Then they want to take uh, flour and meal from that Lebanese man. But God sa saved the man out of the trouble. They are just... They don't, they don't want to start the foundation of anything. They just want to be on the top. Look at cow and sow, all these roads in the area. Look at the road in this, this area. I, I was so, I was, I was, uh, so disturbed when they said Obasanjo is borrowing jet from, uh, from Dangote to travel to anywhere he wants to go. When he has passed aside the whole road, spoiled the whole road, damaging everything. Ah, we have the same, we came into this world the same way. And we will live one day. But the journey is too short. Mm. They should help us out. With the Igbos are crying. The Yorubas are crying. Even the Northerners now are crying. Because all, all the Northern leaders are doing just what just uh, um, eye service. They are not good at home. You know what I was telling them the other day that, hey, wash out candle. Kwakwaso, wash out. Because Sanusi will buy Kwakwaso. All the money they sold for CBN and everything, he will manipulate it and come back to and come back to power. Listen now. If they, if they don't want to mind anything that happened to other person. It's them first. And even the what the what I don't want to do before, he still want to make this daughter to be IG of police. <laughs> That's why he was uh, channeling that all through the police ends. And they never believe in anybody. They will put their sledgehammer on you. But this one side of the country is like this. Yeah. What can we gain? Then now look at all the pipeline. For you taking all the whole federal processors to, Can to Kaduna. Yeah, Navy to Kaduna. What is Navy doing in Kaduna? Yeah. <laughs> then taking all the refinery to Kaduna. What are the youth thinking about this? The Kaduna refinery. Where do, they ref where do they get the, the product? Why are you taking it too hard that way? In hmm. even in the economics, they said any comp country, any company you wanted to set up must be nearest to the what to the raw materials. Raw materials. What is the distance between Can Kaduna and uh, Bayesa? Too far. Hmm. Now you all the whole major thing you gave to Polo. Those who are vandalizing the pipe before, you gave them to go and be monitoring the pipe. The navy was stealing our crew every day. Soldiers are stealing. When you get to a level, you'll be stealing. You have when they arrest the the ship here today, tomorrow, the same ship will still come and bash and take more. And when they are loading, they are the all the all they refine from Kaduna refine the uh, NNPC, they put a pipe somewhere and take it again. So who is fooling who? Where is the government? We don't have governments. We don't have governments. We could remember the time of two day the album. He tried his peaceable best. But at the end, it's still his boss that killed him. When he had he wanted to go and work with what? Work with uh, Obasanjo. My brother, the state of the uh, nation is precarious, is dirty, stinking, very bad. Who is Ote Dollar? How does he get to where he was today? First bank, everything. Look at it now. Look at the other Igwe that died. He's holding the money of Asanusi. As a young man, he said he was one taking care of. No! See how God exposed them. 
If he cannot recollect all his money, what was Anusi put in care of his way? He can't get it back. And when you look at those bank, how do you say, how, how a Mefele, look at a Mefele, sitting on the, on the government office, using government office to trade, and you say they should not take him to court, they should not do this one, he's an able man, you are going to extreme, a too extreme, Tinubu too was a drug peddler, was a thief, is it what we wanted to gain now? Coming on the street, does he, does he have put food on our table? Hmm. Then we should go to the forest. Let's put Kedet and go to the forest and wipe out all the kidnappers who started kidnapping. It was Evans. Look at the boss boy they killing uh, you saw of recent now. He's all the holy boys. The holy boys. They're not supposed to have died now. It's frustration hmm. that pushed them to all those things. They are not bad people. Look at how they killed the, the brother of that uh, actor the other day um, when Buhari killed um, Owo. He killed Owo and Ojuro, Ojuro Mbe and all of them. But see what the, what the chief judge of the federation did, Malami. Look what he did. Oh, what he stole. Is it up to what Anini stole? No. Oh. They frustrate our people to, to behave abnormal. Go to Abel Kota. All the graveyard in Abel Kota has what? I mean, a smart, um, shattered people were looking for dead bones then go to mortuary in the they of recent mm. two or three years ago all the people inside the mortuary they cut off their head where do they what do they do with their heads